Hey guys, I just finished watching Beast. So before we start the video, I just wanted to uh, bring attention to the fact I'm wearing pajamas. Uh, my last review, I got a very nasty comment and uh, they were very upset about the fact that I was wearing pajamas. So I made sure to definitely wear pajamas this time. So basically in short, I'm going to wear what I want. It's my channel. Um, don't at me. I'll probably just hide you from the channel if uh, you're overly toxic. I don't mind uh, constructive criticisms in a polite way, but you don't need to go, you know, overboard. So, Beast. This is a 2022 um, survival scenario film starring Idris Elba, and it basically answers the question that we've all been wondering since the moment we were born. What would happen if Idris Elba fought a lion in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Who would win? This film answers that question, and it does it in a pretty good way, in my opinion. I actually think it's slightly underrated. Uh, the scores for it are quite low on all review sites that I could see. I'm going to be a little bit more generous because it's obviously doing something very specific and I think it does it in a very uh, effective manner. So we're following uh, this uh, doctor named Nate and you yeah, know I don't have a lot of negatives but negative number one is I would love to see a protagonist in a survival scenario movie like this be like a janitor or a plumber. Of course he's a doctor though so Dr. Nate um, brings his two daughters to Africa and he visits his friend Martin and Martin is pretty cool um, and he's very hospital hospitable and he's also an anti-poacher which means that he hunts people, he hunts humans who hunt animals um, which is, I mean, I doubt, I mean neither of those activities are illegal and that's like a, a story for another movie I'd be interested in seeing. You know, if they went with Beast 2, I would want to see um, some more anti-poacher stuff, because that's a concept I never heard of until now. Um, so I don't know anything about that, don't know if, what the moral stance is on that, no clue. But um, yeah, so his uh, family, like his daughter, specifically the older daughter, um, harnesses quite a lot of resentment for him, uh, because their mother recently passed of cancer and he wasn't always there. So there's some good good drama in this, some natural conflict, um, and uh, like I was just I was just thinking like, Blair Witch. Like, Blair Witch could have taken a lesson from this, um, a Blair Witch project. So, uh, this was a lot more natural and made a lot more sense to me and, um, made you care more about everything. Because, like, it is just a lion movie, right? It's basically Jaws, but with a lion. So, they do manage to put a little bit of substance in there, which was nice. Um, but the movie is still very focused on what it's trying to do, which is, uh, a bloodthirsty lion. So, there's constant suspension throughout the, mo the movie and tension. Uh, there is a lot of blood. I almost wish there was even more blood, but there is a lot of blood and uh, some of the scenes are quite visceral. Yes, it is a CGI line and no, it does not look very real at all, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I uh, don't know if they could really hire a handler to do what was necessary for this movie in a safe and controlled manner. Probably not, or else they would have. Or, or would that be too much work? No, that would probably be cheaper. It would probably be cheaper if they could do that. But um, yeah, so very simple movie, not a lot to really digest, it's just, uh, yeah, so negatives, as I've already said, of course he's a doctor, right? Um, and the, I don't know, is there any more negatives? I mean, not really, it's, so it's disposable by nature. The reason I can't give it like a 9 or a 10 is because like, it's inherently disposable. It is a throwaway, one-off, you know, kind of cash grab thing. But the reason I like it is because it's, it actually like delivers, I felt at least. I thought it was very entertaining, very tension filled, and it delivers on the lion action stuff. Um, oh yeah, and also I guess one more negative I would say is uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the very first scene of the movie, which is when um, it basically explains why the lion is uh, being a bloodthirsty rogue, <laughs> but like it's an animal, so I didn't really need an explanation. You know, just consider Jaws, like, Jaws wasn't, like, the shark in Jaws wasn't attacking people because it had a grudge, it was just doing what a shark does. And yeah, it was a bit of an abnormal shark, but it, it's still just a shark. So I would have preferred a similar story here where it's just a lion that happens to be uh, bloodthirsty. But instead, they uh, go for a more silly approach where it's like, this lion, it had its entire pack, it's, what do they call it, its pride was, um, uh, Sl slain by all of the poachers and now this one has like a personal grudge and vendetta against humans so it's like personally going out and seeking villages and all that 
I don't really need all that. It's just a line. That's what I would have preferred, but not a huge deal. It doesn't matter. Um, this is obviously this is not like real life line behavior regardless. Just like Jaws is not real life shark behavior. We wouldn't have a movie otherwise. Um, but yeah, positives. I actually like the characters quite a bit. Yes, it is a disposable movie. Um, and yes, the characters are not exactly fleshed out. But I, th I feel a mark of a good survival scenario movie is when um, I'm rooting for them. And there's a, like, I, I feel like more than 50% of the time in these survival scenario horror movies, I'm usually wanting one or more of the characters to die at some point. That was not the case in this movie. Um, all four of our protagonists really were very likable, very rootable. And um, I was on their side the whole time. Yes, the older sister could be kind of annoying sometimes, but she just lost her mom. Um, it was natural drama and conflict, like I said, so didn't have a problem with that. I was still rooting for her. So yeah, we're going to give Beast a 7 out of 10. In my opinion, it's a little bit underrated. Yes, it's a disposable little throwaway thing, but it's, it delivered exactly what I wanted, and I would happily watch it again. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.